Good morning everyone, how are you? I'm just doing a quick clip on Melbourne after lockdown, uh, after COVID lockdown. Life's just sprung up all over the place, so uh, let's just do a walk around and see what comes up. Just in Richmond, guys, look how busy the streets are. Absolutely magic morning today. Uh, I had to get out, I couldn't just sit around. And uh, just going past the Richmond Football Club. Flag favourites, apparently, for this year. But we'll see. Um, nothing's written in concrete. Good teams out there. That's Australian rules football for guys who don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, let's see. Well, as usual, I haven't had any breakfast. <laughs> so uh, that's going to be a priority of mine. Uh, I'm not that hungry at the moment, but uh, I'll have to find something to eat. But uh, we'll up to the MCG first and walk down towards the Arra and see what, uh, what's installed. Well, you know, a lot of you may know, but you know, the MCG is the Coliseum for football, cricket, a lot of events. It's huge, it holds over 100,000 people. It's massive. Uh, so if you're ever visiting Melbourne, try and get to an AFL game or maybe come and see the cricket. Awesome. Right behind me is the statue of Don Bradley, and if you're into cricket, you'll know all about it. He's uh, a legend. So, uh, you know, it's really interesting to have something to get I must say, guys, oh, on the train, it was absolutely packed. Um, there was no social distancing. It was just really crowded, and a lot of people are out. So after these lockdowns, um, everything's come alive, you know, people are getting back to some sort of norm normality at the moment, which is great, uh, it's boosting the economy, um, what can you ask for, you know, this is what life is all about. So I'm heading away from the MCG and heading towards the tennis centre at the moment. Then we'll walk down through the Yarra. It's just great to have this freedom just to get around. And I'm not trying to sound cocky, I know there's a lot of countries around the world that are still pretty restricted with movement. It's, I'm just trying to sort of indicate that life is good when all this COVID shit is over. It's a lot of bloody steps here. I got to watch where I'm walking. I'm trying to sort of take shots of the scenery, but uh, yeah. And so now I'm near Amy Park, and Amy Park has a lot of the soccer. Soccer for the rest of the world is football, uh, rugby games, and so forth. Huge complex, and it's all in the same precinct, you know. So I think if they ever decide to have the Olympics or Commonwealth Games here again, it'd be fantastic. Check this out. So we're walking towards the uh, tennis centre at the moment and the uh, city skyline is in the distance there. It looks beautiful. So that's the tennis centre up there. Yeah, you get a, such, a, such a good perspective of your surroundings when you walk. It's, uh, it's good for the soul, I think. Uh, you know, you, when you're in the car, you just zoom past and don't take much notice. But when you're walking, I think that little bit of pace that's slower and uh, you get to appreciate things around you. Like I appreciate today. It's such a beautiful day. It's great to be alive, especially at my age. Like I said, a lot of the arenas are very close. See the MCG in the background, you know, the tennis centre just there. It's all 
very close, very central, a lot of public transport. One thing that's starting to bug me now are those bloody flies. They're out. I hope they don't stuff up my day. So we're going to walk towards the Yarra now, walk along the Yarra. Uh, that should be nice. I'm looking forward to that. Actually, I think I'll walk on this side because uh, the sun's beating down and it's really hot. Oh, look who's here. Bloody bike riders. shot of the city behind me it is magnificent I love living here guys I really do um, you know it's such a peaceful city I mean it has its crime and you know faults but in all in all respect it's not a bad place to live a bit. The bloody sun's got a bit of bite to it. You know? Now another serious problem I've got. I need the boys room. <laughs> and I need to find it quick. And I also need a coffee. But boy, uh, priority is the boys room. Wow, this is so tranquil guys. It's nice walking by the beach, but this is also, you know, nice. It's a different environment, different sounds, and uh, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. You can understand why Melbourne was voted uh, one of the most livable cities in the world. You know, explains itself. It's clean, fresh air, no bloody pollution like the mega cities in China, Shanghai, and wherever the hell they are. I got no interest in going there. But uh, yeah, look at it. It's magnificent. There's some boats coming up, rowing boats. I don't know if it's part of a club that's training for something. You know, we used to have the Moomba, Moomba Festival down here, which was cancelled due to COVID. COVID, another bloody problem that we had, which caused a lot of cancellations. But hey, we're getting there. Hey, hang on a minute. Boys are... You don't know how good that was. <laughs> oh, you know, it's a relief, especially when you're busting. Here are the boats. hire these boats. Well, I think a freaking snail can go faster than those boats, but uh, I don't know what... Uh, it's probably just a side scene boat, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it's all about. Still, I guess it's a way for them to see the Yarra. Terrace here, I think it takes me up to the top of uh, top of the Yarra. Uh, let's see where it goes. Wow, it's hot, really hot. Um, probably because I'm walking. Uh, yeah, it's uh, I think the temperature's only probably about 17 degrees, but the sun seems to have a real bite to it.
Wow, look at this view. Awesome. I've never, ever been to this side of Melbourne. Would you believe it? Just too busy, you know, you get in a train or you drive through and you never spend much time, but it's such a beautiful place. Federation Square now. I'm going to walk around. Nice view of the MCG from here. Have a look. It's weird. <laughs> Take it or leave it. It's not a real pretty building. There's a lot of things in there, but. Uh, I don't spend much time in this, I don't know much about it, but I'll walk around it anyway. I have a different mindset at the moment. My mind is just focused on getting a freaking cappuccino. Oh no, latte. Some girls practicing some dancing. Maybe I can put them on the video. Let's see now. First time I've ever been in Fit Square. <laughs> That's disgusting. I mean, I should spend more time getting around, but hey, I'm doing it now. Um, very interesting. But you know, I get this place to the outside. A lot of concerts, uh, community events, stuff like that that happens here. Um, it's all free, of course. Uh, yeah, so. I suppose it's a nice place to come and relax for a little bit. Now, I'm not sure where the mask rule applies. Uh, indoors anywhere, I think, I'm not sure. There's a lot of people walking around without a mask. So, I'm taking mine off too. Now, I'm not going to stand in line and wait for a coffee. I know who I am. <laughs> I'm not even being sarcastic for God's sake. Don't take that literally. I'm really enjoying this walk, guys. It's, uh, it's just refreshing to see the city in the morning. Not a lot of crowds around, but there's a lot of people coming in at the moment. Because the football's on. And uh, did I mention my team's going to do really well this year? The Mighty Saints. There's a lot of people in the city at the moment. Heaps more than when I was here last time, so that's really good news. Oh, behind me, that seems to be really popular. I might get run on the way back. Check out the tram scene at the moment, very busy.
can't be bothered standing in line for a coffee. And it seems like everyone wants a freaking coffee. I'm impatient. I need to learn patience. Look at all those flowers, they're beautiful. You behind me there? Fashion. Pretty cool, huh? Crossing the road. That's the tram on the other. Busy the place is. It's awesome. Plenty of, plenty of people around. Well, I've got a little snack from Powers Sushi. Some sort of ball and uh, potato cake. So let's get into that. Mm. Well, I hope you enjoyed that content, guys. Uh, if you did, please subscribe and like my channel. I shall see you next time. Ciao for now.